would like to welcome you to our topic today, future trading with TradeStation Global Platform. And um, as usual for the beginning, I want to show you the risk disclaimer that this is um, not an investment advice or trading recommendation. Um, I think this is normal, as you know it all from the start. Some points for myself. Um, I think most of you uh, might know this already. I studied um, mathematics and um, I'm a trading coach, especially for stock and option trading and um, head of trade station support in Germany since 2004, uh, 2004 sorry. And yeah, what, what we would like to discuss today or what are our topics um, today, how to use the radar screen for future trading. Um, I think this is a very powerful tool in the TradeStation global platform. So it's very important to know how um, to set it up. And also with the continuous contracts, um, if you want to backtest strategies or if you want to do any analysis, uh, I think you need the continuous contracts, uh, which are also very important um, to use. And um, yeah, the next step will be how to set up an order in Matrix um, or other order tools. And uh, the last thing, symbol search, which you yeah, might need for most of um, yeah, future symbols. If you don't know the exact um, symbol, it's uh, very useful to know how to find uh, the correct symbol for um, the correct future um, contract. These are the main points for today. Um, if there's any question, you are always welcome to ask anything um, what you might need to see. And um, before we go direct to the TradeStation um, global platform, I want to show you a few things uh, which we got from CME because uh, since a few months we have um, micro and mini um, future contracts available. And um, this are especially for indices, uh, which you see here, the um, S&P and uh, NASDAQ and Russell 2000, uh, as well as the Dow Jones. We also have several of um, Forex uh, micro contracts and the same for metals, um, means gold, silver and palladium. And it's very important um, to know some basic stuff about um, about the benefit of um, micro and mini contracts, um, especially what you can see here, since um, they were like um, registered at the uh, stock exchange. There's a high liquidity in all the and most of the not in all of them, but in most of the micro e mini um, contracts especially if you see here, for example, the E-mini S&P 500. You can see the um, volume on the left-hand side. Let's see the blue is um, the volume and we have it here in millions. So it's uh, a very high volume, means you can trade also um, big lots or big sizes, uh, which will all be um, not a problem at all. Same or similar, let's say not same, but um, with um, oil, for example, with the crude um, future and um, for Forex um, as well. And here you can see the average daily volume for this um, contracts. So um, what I told you earlier, especially the E-mini and the NASDAQ, um, oh, sorry, the micro um, S&P 500 and the micro NASDAQ 100 is having a very good volume for trading. For Forex, it's the Euro um, contract and uh, for metals, especially um, um, gold and oil also have a very good um, volume. What you can also see in this uh, overview, and I don't want to go through the, all the presentation because we also want to see some practical stuff, um, how to use it in the um, TradeStation platform. But just for you to know um, some advantages um, comparing to um, ETF trading. Um, this we should delete because this is only for um, US citizens um, um, where there's a benefit in 
terms of um, tax advantages, but um, it's very important that a future contract is having no management fee. In the ETF, you will always find it. Um, also around the clock trading, there's no um, not such a high risk of a gap. Um, what is also very important is the pattern day trading rules because um, for futures here, they are not applying, but for the ETFs, um, you will always um, um, yeah, have to follow the back uh, pattern day trading rule. And if you see all these uh, um, advantages, I would always, if there's a um, um, future contract available, recommend um, future trading instead of um, ETFs. Because as you see here in the overview, there are lots of uh, facts which gives you um, good advantages to trade these um, micro or micro or mini future contracts. Also, in terms of um, of volume, what we seen earlier, yeah, all the future contracts are much higher volume than the um, biggest ETF for this um, indice, and um, yeah, I think this is also um, very important for you to know. Um, the ticker symbol itself, we will see it um, in the next minutes also in the trade station. And uh, for us, it's important was the margin requirement. This is uh, very low for micro contracts. That's why I think it's a big success um, to implement these micro contracts because it makes um, it easier even for small um, accounts to to um, trade these contracts. And um, yeah, you see, for example, what is um, the minimum price and how much is it in um, dollar amounts um, for the three indices. Um, so you can really participate in future trading with um, small amount of money and even with small accounts. Um, just don't forget, margin accounts usually start with an, um, with an equity of uh, or with a balance of uh, equivalent to one uh, 2,000 USD. Uh, and this is also the minimum to get started with uh, future trading. We have the same overview now here for micro um, metals and uh, micro forex futures. Um, where you can see all these um, symbols and also what is the margin requirements. And yeah, as you can see, they are really low, um, what makes it uh, really convenient for smaller um, accounts to trade this. So if someone wants to have more information or even want to have this um, presentation, just let us know. We are happy to provide this um, to you. We are email or um, in the next presentation and um, now I want to continue with our topics for trade station. This is the basic trade station um, like you should see it um, if you just download the application and um, open the TSIB, the fold workspace uh, where you have indices, forex, equities, and um, yeah, stocks from the London Stock Exchange. Normally, I will, would always recommend to um, start with this and um, just change it in the way you want to have it. Means um, I just deleted all the symbols. I will. Um, do the following, save workspace S, and I just say TSIB future. So I will save it with a different name. So if there's any change, you should always make sure that there's a different um, name. And we would start um, with some symbols uh, for the indices. Uh, let's start, for example, with um, S&P 500 because it's the one with the biggest volume, the biggest liquidity. Um, just right click in radar screen, insert symbol, and then you have here this um, look up a function where you can search for um, specific symbols and especially in a future market sense necessary to do because I don't think that you might be able to put just the correct symbol for a micro or for a mini um, future contract. So there will be a new window where you can um, choose what exactly which um, 
asset class you're looking for. And um, as we already seen the symbols in the CME presentation, I will go for micro e mini S&P 500. And first of all, I would always um, include the um, continuous uh, future contract. What you will see at the end with Confute. Um So this means it's always like an ongoing contract. What I said earlier, I think this is very important um, for backtesting or if you want to see a brighter or a, back, um, a greater range of um, data from uh, the past. So we will do the same once again, just to get the right symbol for trading. And now we have the September contract, what um, also ends with a U. You just can follow the um, continuous contract and then you will see it here. So, and um, as it is connected or linked to each other, you can see on the left-hand side the um, micro e-mini S&P 500 in chart and below even in the matrix. Um, and um, the same will we, we will do now for, for the um, NASDAQ. Actually, it's the same in the symbol. Just go to look up and... Um, we will do it a bit faster. First of all, continuous contract, and then the same for the September contract. So yeah. First of all, the same like with the S&P 500. On top, we have um, NASDAQ uh, continuous contract where you can um, see even um, yeah, the time before like, um, I think before June, because uh, if you do the same with the um, September contract, the difference here is the September contract normally um, gets only a good liquidity uh, after the um, the June contract expires, so that's why um, continuous contract. I think uh, most of you who already um, trade futures, um, they will notice. Um, then, um, yeah, you need to have the continuous contract for um, any analysis, uh, which is um, going back more than a couple of days. And to make it, make it complete, because we can also provide you this um, um, screen with all the symbols. So you don't have to um, type it in or to search. And that's why I want to make it um, complete with all the, sorry, this was, with all the symbols which are available at least for the micro future trading. Now we will continue with the E-mini Dow Jones. First of all, again, continuous contract. And then we will have here the September contract right below. And the last thing is the Russell 2000. And then we have all available symbols, at least for the micro future trading. So these are all the indices. Um, the next what I want to include is um, not all the uh, available um, futures for Forex, but at least um, the two biggest with the um, um, Euro. It's the same principle. It's the same way how to uh, how we add it for the indices. So the symbol, um, I think it's M6A, I always do the same mistake. You have to go to look up and same futures. Oh, sorry, this is the Australian um, dollar. And then we have, I just leave always one um, um, row empty because if I want to add um, at the end of or the beginning of September, the next contract for December, you can also do the same um, that there's like um, 
more than one expiration date um, if um, yeah, you need to change this um, so that you always see exactly um, the expiration date what you might need and um, after we added the Australian dollar we will go ahead with the next symbol for Forex um, micro future and this is um, yeah, what we seen earlier the euro and last but not least we will also add at least one of the metals and then we can continue with the um, chart and uh, with matrix for order setup so this is MGC so now we have the basic um, micro futures included and um, yeah as we seen it earlier um, we just can select let's maybe stick to the um, NASDAQ one we can select the right symbol we can also include um, yeah more indicators here seeing that um, NASDAQ is going down the last five minutes um, quite fast and um, let's see if we can place an order So now we sold um, um, Nasdaq micro contract and you can see um, it's also very um, good to see the points. Um, every point, um, what we told you earlier, it's um, divided by um, 0.25 points. And uh, this is exactly, uh, it's now listed in, in Euro. That's um, what we need to change symbol currency account currency i mean you can also leave it in the account currency this would be not a problem but uh, i just want to show you this um, one point is exactly um two dollars two yeah two dollars uh, i change it now to two dollar and it makes it very convenient here in the matrix and yeah you see um it's um going down um more than what we expected so if i want to just um buy to cover my um profit i will just buy and i can see now exactly my trade here in five minute chart can change it even to one minute and um yeah it's very easy um, to use matrix um, or even chart trading for entry and exit but now we want to do it a little bit more detailed um, step by step because i saw this um, um, downtrend so i just want to um, get into the market um, with a short position but um, i think now it's the time to see the settings which are available for futures trading and uh, which are quite easy to use and uh, are very helpful for you um, to exit even um, a position which you already um, entered here yeah for this i will make the matrix a little bit bigger and i want to add the advanced order bar and then you have all the settings which are available here um at matrix as i showed you earlier to uh, change any columns you just have to right click in um, this tool and you will see all available um available columns if you want to see it even in your own um, currency in your base currency because it, it's not necessary that your base currency is also usd if it's euro singapore dollar or swiss francs or even um, british pound um, you can also show your the profit and loss in your um, account balance um, and i just want to add this as well what is also i think um, quite interesting it's a percentage so now 
as we don't have a position, you will see uh, no information, of course, included in the matrix. But um, what makes it very easy to trade in matrix is it's an automated function. What you see set up here in the order type means auto limited stop. The um, system will automatically um, decide if it's a limit or a stop order. And um, means if I go below the um, price on the buy side, it's limit. And as soon as I go a um, little bit above the price, it will show um, a stop order. Makes sense because I, if I want to buy above the actual price, you need to set a stop order, um, especially for a breakout. And if you want to buy a little bit cheaper, then of course you will set up a limit order. Now I set up my stop order. And uh, I forgot um, here in the columns, as we already traded the symbol, this um, second thing as a column is um, the, the total uh, profit and loss. So it will add already what I um, traded because we made a profit of um, 16 USD. And this will be added to um, in this column. So, um, but it's new rows, so we should change this one more time. So what do we want to see? Open profit loss in um, account currency. I'm not really, I mean, it's up to you. Um, me for myself, I don't want to see the total profit and loss. Um, because, yeah, if you trade like the same symbol the whole day, it makes also sense to include this. But as I showed you how, um, how to change all the settings, I think it's uh, pretty easy to um, change this in matrix. So now I want to set a stop order. Um, if the market's going down, it's also pretty convenient because um, I still lowest price for today here at um, 10,505 points. I can set my stop order. And when my market is going, going down to a, um, a new low, a daily low, I will um, close my position and I can see exactly with uh, which loss. Um, in this situation, it's a, it's a loss of um, $32 or 28 euros. It's only 0.15% um, of my um, position. And the same, what is quite um, interesting, you will of course see also in your chart before we come back to um, matrix, if I just right click in the chart and um, I will show my chart trading setup. You can see here my stop order and I can um, just click exactly on this stop and also change it here. What, um, yeah, it's very nice to have this in connection because if you want to have this fast entry in matrix, uh, for me, it's very um, easy to do this. And also for stop, I need a chart to see maybe what's the daily low or um, if I do it on a um, on a other time frame, I can see even the last days, what was the lowest and the highest price. And I can um, try to set this up with my, um, with the prices um, there. And especially here, you can see the trend the last 30 minutes was um, quite strong comparing to the other days. We didn't have such a big um, down movement in a few minutes, um, but our long position is um, still in profit. And even when I want to close it, I just hit the close button here. And it's very nice because all the orders, my stop order, for example, was closed or was cancelled and um, a market order was placed so that I um, closed my position. And um, if we go back to matrix, we will see in total, you can see it here, my closed uh, profit and loss just on this um, symbol today was 25 um, euros and 50 cents. So I think um, for trading, if it's especially short or intraday trading, um, it's very nice to use matrix um, and um, chart trading also to um, yeah, set up your stop and your target. And the last thing what I want to show you here in uh, matrix, it's um, how to set up um, order cancels order position. 
let's go back long. I uh, just this time press the buy market button. Of course, you can also still um, place it here with a limit order or with a stop order, what we did earlier. I think um, this is really nice to have and easy to use. And if you're not so sure um, um, for the beginning, you can also use it in the paper trading account, uh, what makes it maybe a little bit more easier um, to practice without losing any, any money. And after I invested, um, I can place an OCO order, means one limit and one stop order for exit. I can um, set this up here in points. Okay, my limit order is... Uh, this was a little bit <laughs> a little bit um, too close <laughs> to my entry, so it's very um, important that you change here the price offset. What was only 10 points, and um, yeah, luckily we got executed with a small profit. Um, but this you need to change, but we can do it of course once again. So as we already have a good profit and loss, I will. Do it with um, 30 and 30, and then I can show it to you again. So this is now my stop. I can easily change this. And of course, you can also change it in, um, in chart, what we uh, discussed earlier or what I showed you earlier. It's the same way um, like we do it in um, Matrix. Just click on the order and then um, press the left uh, mouse uh, button uh, or keep it pressed and then just move the limit and stop order to any um, place in Matrix which you want to have. So I think, yeah, this is a very interesting and um, useful tool. Um, especially for short-term trading. I would always recommend or suggest to do it with um, with this tool um, to configure or to change settings maybe a little bit. Um, as you can see already, we are going now onto our profit target. And as soon as the profit target is reached, our stop order will be deleted. Um, and you can see, especially this is also something when I want to show you the liquidity, the volume is uh, super high. I mean, we can hear enter the market even with um, bigger positions of, ten or, of five or 10 contracts. And um, this is also a big benefit, uh, which I forgot to show you in the beginning in the CME um, presentation, because um, if you're trading with the big future contract, it's, uh, it's hard to um, get like a good entry price. If you divide it maybe with uh, micro contracts into um, different entry prices, um, it's uh, it's much easier. And even uh, if you are future trading with a trader with a big account, um, it's also um, a good option to think about uh, micro trading because it gives you the opportunity to um, divide your position in, um, in, in more contracts um, than if you just trade the big future contract, for example. So you can um, get a good average price if you want to buy, if it's going down a little bit more. So there are a lot of benefits. Um, and I think um, the most important is that we have volume. And this is something what's also um, a good and interesting thing, what you can see here in matrix the, um, with the number in total. and. Now it was a little bit uh, faster than what we've seen here in the um, matrix. Our order was again executed. Let's have a look in our intraday chart. We just go back to one minute. There we can see what did we do um, in the last minutes. And it looks like um, we really hit the bottom. Um, it's not with our short um, order that we uh, got all the way down, but uh, with the last three um, long entries, uh, we also had a good profit. Um, in total, we have to check matrix again, um, just a second. Yeah, 65 euro um, in total um, profit. And now we can try it again with a short position, what we can also do here in, um, in chart trading. There's same sell and buy market uh, button. 
hit and take is just like um, yeah, uh, if you press the hit button, your sell short um, order will exactly um, be at the price of the best bid, and take is exactly the price of the best ask. So it's a limit order at the end at best bid or best um, ask. And uh, if you want to have a better entry, you can also use this button on top. It's placing um, a sell order on the best ask. So you have to be a little bit patient. And here's a buy order on the um, best bid. Um, what's, of course, also a limit order. Let's try to go long again. So you see our limit order um, was placed at the best bid. And now you have to be um, a little bit patient if it's going down again to get an execution. So now we are entering the market and exactly the same what we did in Matrix. We can do here also in chart trading. So at the end, it's up to you what you prefer, but there are many ways um, for short-term and long-term uh, trading, how to use um, both um, of these tools. Here we go with our stop and um, uh, limit order. So you see, it's really easy, really convenient um, to um, do this in matrix or even in chart. And um, it will help you not even not only for future trading. Of course, you can do the same for Forex, um, for equities, for CFDs. Today, I just want to show you how to get the um, correct symbols. What's the benefit of uh, micro contracts and um, especially um, what is, um, I think, easy to see here, um, what we have in, in liquidity. Same if we go to the Dow Jones. It's not so um, high volume what we've seen earlier. Oh, sorry, this was the future contract. Of course, the future contract will... No, oh, this is the correct one. Should also give you the volume bars, um, but let's have a look at um, another section, what we will have here, Forex. You see, it's different to Nasdaq or to um, E-mini. Uh, it's not such a high volume, but still, um, if we, for Forex, there's a brighter range, so it's, um, oh, no, not really today. Um, for Euro, we can also try to set an order here, um, and it's at the end the same way. We just want to place an OCO order um, with a stop and a limit, and you can easily change it in the matrix and chart. Yeah, as you can see it here, um, it's not moving so fast like in uh, future contracts, but um, it's uh, working in the same way. Um, and if you want to cancel or change an order, it's um, also working in the same um, concept like for futures. Um, you just have to click on limit or stop order and change it there. Um, and I think with the tool, what we see in here, um, in radar screen where you can easily access um, the right expiration date. What was the last thing what we traded was NASDAQ. Let's see how it's going. Yeah, we also are again in a small profit. So yeah, um, we can wait till the limit orders reach, but I can just say close and uh, this close button here. Um, let me highlight it. The close button here will do the following. It will close my position, um, but before it will also cancel all existing orders. And uh, especially short term trading, what's also very nice is this reverse button because it goes one step further. It uh, closes my long position and uh, at the same time um, places a position or um, a position the other way around very um are short selling so um as you can see um it's very easy to um do all the setups here in matrix uh, especially what we did now was very short term um invest or short term trading we just um been here for a couple of minutes and even if it's only um micro mini uh, futures and we just traded always one contract um, you can see the result was pretty good with um, 78 euros yeah, for maybe 20 minutes, uh, which we've been trading here. 
and to make the setups for matrix complete i think duration is um yeah should be pretty clear that um, this is a way to um set up orders for more than one day and um the same is gtd um where you can set up a, a date for example if you're like um on um um, not on the computer the next days, and you just want to set up a stop order till you are back. You can um, yeah, enter a exact date um, of the duration or till when your order is valid. So I think um, the most common is a day in GTC. Um, GTD is not, I think it's not used so many times, but just for you to know. And uh, one thing what we didn't explain yet, is um, trailing stop is also something very interesting because you can set up um, your risk in percentage. If I said I want to risk 1%, I can set up my trailing stop here with 1% um, distance from the last price. Um, you can also set up an amount. Let's see what does it mean, 1%. We should see this here in matrix so then we have to scroll down a little bit more because one percent yeah here here we are yeah it means a loss of 189 euros or 214 um, dollars and it's the same um, i can also click on my trailing stop and change it and you will see as soon as my um, our stock is going a little bit up, yeah, you can see now the trailing stop is just running behind. I can double check, um, yeah, now the market's going against us. But yeah, let's see if it's going up a little bit, um, then this uh, will be also something what um, what is moving and uh, where we will see uh, changing in the trailing stop itself. And the last thing, I mean, OCO order, I think uh, we discussed the steps. Uh, we can also cancel here all orders uh, for this um, particular symbol, what we included in uh, matrix. So it's not for all symbols, it's just for the symbol um, which you opened at the moment in, in, in your matrix. And let's have a look if our stop already changed. Not really, it's, ah, no. No, it's 100, 206 um, dollars. Yeah, but it should as soon as we are going to profit. Or we can also easily um, check this in a chart because in chart, if you use this background tracking here, you can scroll a little bit down and we see our stop order now if you see the price, this is exactly what I mean. It's uh, moving 1% behind your price. If the market's going against us, of course, then it will be um, fixed um, and execute our stop if it's going down um, till this um, um, till this level. But um, as long as it's going up, it's always running 1% 1% behind or whatever you set up um, for this trading stop. And um, yeah, to change it, it's also the same. I can say, okay, 1% is um, way too far for me. I want to have it uh, with 0.3%, for example. Just um, click on the trailing stop and you will easily um, move it up in a chart or in a matrix. Um, so it's exactly the same what we had earlier with, um, with our OCO order. And yeah, the last thing in um, future trading, what's also nice, even in uh, Forex or equities, you can use it. It's the uh, activation rule. And activation rule, um, you will find an advanced order bar. So this setting is normally not there from the beginning. So you have to check view, advanced order bar. And then under activation rule, um, just check activation rule and hit the button with the three points there you can set up in time and a price when an order will be um, um, activated um, so let's see we can um, it doesn't mean that you need to connect this exactly to the symbol which you're trading um, but of course it makes sense so look up futures 
we will go for our for our um, let's take future contract and now I say okay if it's going up to 10,600 um, points I want to set up the following order let's cancel first the so oh, let's make it a little bit um, closer that we will see it maybe now live let's make it to 10,000 590. So now you see, oh, so it's a little bit fast. I added um, a sell market order, and this market order will only be um, activated as soon as we reach this level of uh, 10,590 points. So it should be hopefully in three points if the market is uh, playing with us. Uh, we have to be a little bit patient, but normally it looks really good. Um, that this will be executed in the next uh, few minutes. I normally use it for entry orders um, because I want to say, okay, if the first 30 minutes where the market is very volatile is over, then I want to place an order on a certain level. So activation rule really helps you to um, to do this. Um, yeah, now it's going down a little bit, but um, yeah, we can wait a little bit or I can even change this activation rule. But don't forget, you have to set the order again because now the order is placed with the actuation rule of 10,590 points. So um, when we want to change it again, let's do this. Let's make it a little bit lower. Yeah, this should be a good price. So I think now, on it was a bit too fast to see, but um, if I want to show you again, it was uh, 10,581.75 uh, uh, points. And as soon as this was reached, um, my market order was activated. Um, of course, the time, which we also checked here, was um, the time now. This is something what we can also change to. Maybe just prevent that you're not trading or this, this order will be not executed in some um, um, in some um, time where you don't want to trade. And even for the conditions here, you can um, include also yeah, other conditions. I can also add like ETFs, stocks, uh, which should have a certain um, range till, um, till I want to um, activate my order. And you have here this end or raw condition. Um, What's uh, pretty smart, and even in the Trader Workstation, you have the same settings what you can find under alerts. So even in an alert um, setup, you can add an order. Means um, when there's conditions are reached, um, you can play the order automatically, um, and their market or stop order, whatever you might need here. So yeah, this is the four points what we uh, discussed. Radar screen, um, very helpful if you just uh, want to trade more than one or two symbols, uh, because then you can easily access uh, them from a radar screen and have them in a chart and in the radar, uh, sorry, the matrix itself. Um, continuous contract, um, especially for backtesting of strategies, um, what was like not enough time to uh, present you this. But I think we spent um, a good amount um, of time and we had like only profitable profitable trades today. Um, we made like 120 euros in this um, short term um, of um, NASDAQ micro future trading. Symbol search, always right click in um, radar screen or even in uh, in chart, in chart it looks the same. So if you said like, okay, I'm just trading, um, for instance, um, one symbol, then why should I use the radar screen? This is absolutely correct. And um, in the chart, it's exactly the same. I will just show it here. You have to right click, format symbol, and then you have here this function lookup where you can um, also search for um, future contract where you might not know the exact symbol, especially with the expiration dates. I, I have to say it's not so easy to find it here in um, TradeStation. That's why I can offer you to provide 
the radar screen and this workspace what we um, set up here. So you have the um, yeah most liquid um, futures in um, uh, micro futures here included, and you can add everything what uh, what you need to add uh, what is maybe missing for your trading strategy. Yeah, and if there's anything else or anything, or anything what is missing, uh, please feel free to contact us uh, via email and uh, we are happy uh, to provide um, some more information um, in our upcoming um, webinars. So if you liked this um, short presentation for future trading, please subscribe um, on the right hand side below to our YouTube channel so you will not miss any of our next um, upcoming um, webinars. And uh, yeah, we are happy to welcome you here again. Thanks.